Hey gang, today I'm going to do a rust resistance test uh, as a viewer request I believe uh, a while back just on AUS 8. So this is a stainless steel uh, as designated as such. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with um, well first I'm going to shove each of the blades I'm going to test into an orange, pull it out and I'll wipe it off. Then I'm going to spray it lightly with a saline solution which will be administered via <laughs> administered via a spray bottle. So fairly salty water. Righto, so salty water uh, will then be sprayed on the knives um, after they've been stuck into an orange. And then I'm going to leave them for a few hours and the whole thing's going to be rep recorded on uh, this GoPro here. And then we'll see how they rust or how they corrode or patina or whatever the effect, how they're affected by the stain of the orange and the salty water. So uh, the knives that I'll be testing are, so for the control knives, I've got a knife that won't rust, which is the LC200N Spider Chef, and a knife that will rust, which is a carbon steel Holtifers heavy duty building knife, I can't remember what it's called, and then the AOS8 blade in the middle. So let's get this started. Hmm. And now to the GoPro. Alright, so that will just about do it. I'll um, crank the camera on to the tabletop and we'll have a really close look at these knives and see how uh, see how they're looking. It's been about, I can say five hours, maybe four hours or so, sitting under um, non-stop salty water with an original uh, citric acid um, hit as well. So it's definitely done some damage to the carbon steel. We'll have a close look at that as AUS-8 and um, for what it's worth, look at the Spyderco as well. All right, so that's them. I'll just wipe off the um, the excess. All right, so let's take a look. I think I'm in the light. Okay, so looking at the halter fours, some um, So first of all, looking at the halter fours, um, there is some um, rust setting in just around the spaces are pretty obvious. Um, and what looks like some verdigris type stuff as well, um, sort of a greeny tinge to it. Um, and that's on both sides as well. So four hours in the water. Um, none of this is catastrophic, even where it's closer to the edge there, that will polish off. It hasn't got right to the apex, so it's not gonna do too much damage. So that that knife will clean up just fine, but yeah, you leave this out probably overnight or in a tackle box or something like that, it probably would be fairly ruined. 
So this is the star of the show today is the AUS-8 uh, Cold Steel Coven Tanto. And you can see the rust has begun to happen in the hollow of the hollow grind. You can see right there going down and that is where the material has sorry focus that is where the material has pulled and um, sort of caused it to settle and I guess began to corrode the most and um, the other side just has some speckling on it which is just very superficial surface rust but still four hours you do you could see you probably wouldn't want to keep an AUS 8, AUS 8 knife or at least not this one in your tackle box because it would probably do that a whole lot more okay and um, just for shits and giggles this is the Spyderco Spidey Chef um, no worries at all I don't think yeah it's just bits of stuff So there we go, uh, AUS-8 is definitely stain less, but certainly not stain proof. That's four hours of exposure to corrosives. Thanks for watching dudes, I'll see you in the next video.